When the guy come here, I stretch my leg out there, outside a little bit, and I hold behind my knee. Once I hold behind my knee, I bring my knee, my heel under my butt, and I fall. Okay, and I start to come once again, perpendicular to my opponent. Then I keep working here, you know, even if I have to be on this position, you know, as long as I don't tap, I'm fine. Sooner or later I will be able to break this grip. So and then uh, as I was talking with Kai right now, he was saying, ah, but if the guy tried to dive to lock the position, so it makes a lot of sense you roll with him as he dive and hold behind your leg. So when I'm here and the guy says to dive to hook, I also follow him on the dive and control behind my leg. You know, so here, I know how he holds his grip. I know it's like a here naked choke. So maybe here is not the best way. His elbow is so exposed here. I can just push here and now clear my head. Now I'm free. My head is clear. I'm free. So you guys can go. I used to suggest you guys to do slow and be used to put your hand backwards. And then you guys can try to the same motion as the guy tried to dive down to lock this position. Okay? So once he lock, open my leg, force my arm backward. Okay? Start to make space here, stretching my head, you know. All the, the, the things we work earlier will repeat. I keep stretching my head, I keep moving here, you know. So create space and escape.